on the slight chance that Kim Jong-un does eventually develop the technology to attack, I have a plan to protect us, okay? Yes, wow, incredible. Thanks for assuming this is real. It is a, <laughs> it's a well-known fact that Kim Jong-un loves American sports, clothing, and pop culture. That is a fact. And it's his love of American culture that's gonna save us with my plan. Let me explain. First, to defend California, I've taken Kim Jong-un's friend Dennis Rodman hostage. I plan to use him as a human shield. In fact, we're moving Rodman to a different California city every hour. That means he could be anywhere. So if Kim Jong-un bombs any part of California, he'll be risking the life of his idol, Dennis Rodman. Next, the Pacific Northwest. Kim Jong-un loves to play Xbox, so he can't destroy Microsoft's headquarters in Seattle. He also loves anything Nike, which is based in Oregon. That secures the entire Western seaboard, but we will not stop there. Kim Jong-un also likes to get his hair cut at Supercuts, which has over 2,000 locations in the United States. He also likes to shop at the JCPenney Young Men's Suit Department, which is nationwide. Finally, Kim Jong-un is overweight and suffers from hypertension and diabetes, which means he probably loves to visit water parks, and we have a lot of water parks. That secures almost the entire USA, except for one weak spot, Florida. Kim Jong-un, if you're watching, there are no supercuts. J.C. Penney's, Nike stores, water parks, or Dennis Rodman's in Florida. Florida, I'm sorry. What? Clearly nobody here from Florida, all right. <laughs>